Welcome back to another League of Legends slash Legends of Runeterra exploration. Today we are going to explore one specific character and also for a specific reason. As we are approaching Arcane, it's just around the corner, season two is. I want to explore a character that is sort of mentioned often when it comes to theories. I have mentioned her myself, though I have never really properly explored her until today. We are exploring LeBlanc today. LeBlanc, she's a... Uh, um, very mysterious character. I read her bio and I read two short stories about her, but it's still difficult to characterize her. She was there prior Noxus existed. She was part of the Immortal Bastion. She's part of the Black Rose movement or order or however you'd call it. She's actually leading it. That order, it sort of consists of powerful people. I think it's sort of a uh, behind the scenes type of organization that influences the type of power that's held. But in particular in Noxus, but also in other regions. I have read that LeBlanc strongly influenced the political events in Noxus, starting from defeating Mordekaiser way, way back, and then going up to Swain's uprising. I think she was sort of against it. I think she was trying to influence Borum Darkwell's minds with some dark thoughts, and then Swain appeared trying to overrule Borum Darkwell as we know it worked. I think LeBlanc was sort of surprised with that turn of events eventually and i don't know how that happened they all created the uh tri power uh, leading noxus so we have general swain obviously we have his right hand darius who's sort of in charge of the army and then we have the faceless person who's also part of the uh tri power and that faceless person they have strong connections to leblanc so it's said so as you see it's a bit all over the place not gonna lie it was hard to sort of understand standard but it's a very fun character fun in a way that she's complicated she does a lot of different mysterious stuff and she might appear in arcane season 2 because we have seen this mysterious figure in arcane season 2 trailers i think we have seen her like three times by now the mysterious figure that resembles silco a bit that resembles mel a bit and leblanc she can sort of shape shift any person that she wants that's why she could have literally been anyone in arcane season two or season one. We're going to explore five cards in Legends of Runeterra today, LeBlanc Connected, and we're going to watch two short videos. Hopefully by the end of this video I will sort of understand her a bit more. As always, major shout out to Master of Puppets who's been helping me out with these videos and major shout out to my lovely Patreons, no matter how big a pledge it is, I really appreciate your support for the channel. So as always, I enter Legends of Runeterra, then I seek out the card, and then on my second screen, I do have some background info when it comes to that card and some voice lines, so overall it's pretty fun. And I feel like that really is stuff that you can find useful as well, because I feel like it's a uh, complex look at the character, and in this particular case, Legends of Runeterra presentation. Card number one, Atakhan, Bringer of Ruin. A nameless aberration towered above them in a smoke-filled chamber. The mages chanted in discordant chorus, dread their voices reaching a strained, fevered pitch. The monster breathed deep of their mounting fear and each breath brought a terrible power. What is that? I, I, don't, I don't know. Bringer of... Actually, maybe let's just read about them. Atakan is a creature, presumably a demon, oh, who was summoned by the Black Roast Cultist. He's aggressive towards LeBlanc and Vladimir. Probably he was the shadow demon servant of Mordekaiser along with fire demon Tybok and his lord. Oh, I remember that, that fire demon. Wait, wasn't it the teddy bear sort of a thing? Oh, you know what? I did get this vibe that that person doesn't really like LeBlanc. <laughs> we have some voice lines too. This feeble magic will not hold! Oh, you're scary, huh? Ah, the guest of honor has arrived. Thorn of the Rose. Who said that? Was it LeBlanc? Traitorous wretch! Hello, my darlings. Oh, wait, that's Vladimir's voice? That's not at all how I would imagine that. I am returned to serve my killer. Oh, your killer. And serve you will. Your time is run out, deceiver. Stop. This was not part of the plan. <laughs> Card number two, Thorn of the Rose. Elena, my dearest friend and colleague, have you seen Lord Druin? 
about Lord Duin. That sounds very Lord of the Rings like. Ah, what a shame. I was very much looking forward to catching up. I do hope he paced himself tonight. I would hate for anything to happen to the old boy. Black Rose Spy. Who is that fawn of the rose person with some sort of um, horse? Head? A sheep? Everything's easier behind a mask. Oh, that's a mask. Yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Let's make this a night to remember. Sit tight and shut up. I've had enough of you. Lady Elena is one of the Black Rose members. She's the dearest friend and colleague of Lady Ovray. She has several drake hounds as pets. Drake hounds? As pets? Huh. Striking looks and stunning wit. I can attest to both, my lady. First let the blood, then stop the heart. Retirement suits you, General. The prettier the rose, the sharper the thorns. Bruise even a single petal and there will be consequences. Part number three, Black Rose Spy. A secret is only worth the cost of keeping it. You know what? I just realized that I think everyone in Noxus is quite attractive. Everyone is very like skinny and like evil looking, but like elegant at the same time. Some voice lines to start with. Shh, voices carry. Oh, I like that. Don't believe everything you hear. Oh, I like how uh, playful she is. Knowledge is wealth and I am rich. <laughs> I'm quite adaptable. Lady of Ray is one of the Black Rose spies working in Shurima. Oh, so she's the best friend of the other one. She's the dearest friend and colleague of Lady Elena, fawn of Black Rose. Her interaction with LeBlanc likely refers to Samira. Oh, I, I still have to um, go through Samira. I don't quite remember seeing her before. Have I? I probably have, but my memory when it comes to all of that material is, you know, lacking. So good to see you, dear. I ran the risk of getting bored. Oh, it's a best friend's talk. Here's to us, the lives of the party. Perhaps I should teach you to fight, Lady Ovray. Who's that person next to her? I fight with words more lethal than any sword. You have such an honest face, Lord Malat. I simply do not feel the need to hide contempt. She will not let me rest. Oh, Atakan is upset with her somehow. Our mistress has big plans for you. Our mistress, LeBlanc. What secrets do you bring me? Oh, LeBlanc seems to have an accent. Whispers of a rose blooming in the desert. Pet number four, incisive tactician. Within the inner chambers of the Black Rose, Noxian nobles play their pieces and murder before his distant victims. God, I love Noxus more and more. <laughs> Some voice lines. One must stack the wood before burning the pyre. A family of fools makes a circus, not a kingdom. <laughs> okay. They admire the rose, but forget its thorns. How is he connected to Black Rose? He's probably part of the influential people that joined. The Rose watches. His name is Lord Malat. Oh, he was mentioned. Lord Malat is a member of Black Rose. He's noble and a strategist. <laughs> he is also aware of and has dealings with Mordekaiser and his faction. <gasps> Black Rose spy appears in the background of the artwork. We also saw this guy before. <laughs> and I, of course, I don't remember. Probably around Nox's videos. The table is set. Now we dine. Anticipation makes the meal much more delicious. Gosh, aren't they all fancy talkers? You lend our cabal a sense of experience, my lad. Perhaps you will lend us your charm someday, madame. How will my people remember me? King Javan. Yeah, I don't know, the spy sort of remi reminds me of the um, Javan's girlfriend, what was the dragon? Perhaps we will know soon enough, Javan. Hmm. Guards, arrest this trespasser. It is not the enemies from afar you need fear, king. I feel like something's going on here. I feel like something that I should know about. I probably know of, but you know. <laughs> the rose sends its finest. A petal for the thorn. <laughs> I see the devil I know blundering before me. Damn, you fancy little gentleman. But to blunder is to die, no. No? A pedestrian ploy, Lord Malat. Time will tell, my lady. I don't know, they, they seem to have some sort of an intellectual connection going on. And finally, LeBlanc herself. No, no, no need to squabble amongst ourselves. For the moment, we will refrain from any rash actions. Let us reconvene once we've heard from our emissary. After all. Damn, she looks so powerful. 
and after all that I have learned about her, I sort of feel intimidated. <laughs> Actually, let's check out other cards, because there's that one. We all want the same thing. <gasps> stunning! Look at that! This is stunning! This is some sort of a table reflection. And she's probably standing there alone, but the reflection shows like multiple of her. Leblanc's sigil of Maui's. Once the battle is won, one must not hesitate but press on, pursue, and annihilate their foe. Seeing double. Ah! Oh, beautiful. Some voice lines to begin with. I hate having to put my face on. Places to go, people to be. <laughs> History forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. Oh, I'm sure it does. It's been, uh, what, centuries? I whisper truth into lies. All right. I am everywhere. I am everyone. Gosh, she's so intense about it. One would think that after years, she would be sort of toned down now. <laughs> the Black Rose blooms once more. Mysterious even to other members of the Black Rose Cabal, LeBlanc is but one of the many names for a pale woman who has manipulated people and events since the earliest days of Noxus. Using her magic to mirror herself, the sorceress can appear to anyone, anywhere, and even be in many places at once. Always plotting just out of sight, LeBlanc's true motives are as inscrutable as her shifting identity. Her level up animation and text imply at least some of the other people appearing in her level 1 art are actually her clones. Woman, me. Wow, see? He's not yelling anymore because he has respect for her. Not yet. That was short. A firm no. I have come for you, LeBlanc. One monster to end another. A true leader marches beside her people. Aurelia? Isn't she from Ionia? So honorable, so naive. Ah. Uh, you. Who are you, really? Who knows? Why spoil the surprise? I feel I know you. Have we met? Oh, Sandra. So aloof. Have we met? We have much in common, you and I. So she has business in Freyjord. Okay, I also have a bit of a commentary when it comes to her role in Arcane that I have previously mentioned. Will we see the Black Rose in Arcane? There are some hints. We have already seen two of the followers we have previously explored in zone setting with characters we know from Arcane. In case you don't remember. Excellent. Pity. Such power wasted on such ignorant minds. Well, once this is over... We can do the world a favor and raise this district to the ground. Huh? Cool toy. Check mine out. Guards! <laughs> Pity. Such power wasted on such ignorant minds. And the last trailers also offer the picture that many directly connected to LeBlanc. If this is indeed LeBlanc, the character does look phony, for sure, and the eyes. It would be logical that she was a character in season 1 already. Mel or her assistant are often mentioned, but for me it wouldn't be logical to disguise as another character originated from Noxus. It would be more effective to impersonate as a person from Piltover, if possible with the access to Hextech. So my guess would be the only character with whom the arcane voice acting department made a a seemingly bad choice. Anyone believing this? An old person with a rather young and seductive voice. I had quite a shock this morning. Enforcers banging on my door. Yeah, we'll see. That's for sure intriguing. Right, and we are finishing off with just two short videos. LeBlanc Legends of Runtora card interactions and LeBlanc interactions with other uh, champion coming from Leandro G channel. By my hand will Noxus rise. By which hand? The man's or the demon's? <laughs> oh, ouch. Fear the power you do not see. You flatter me, Grand General. Fear the power you do not see. You know nothing of real power, dear boy. I pull the strings. She called him of boy. Of course you do, dear. <laughs> I'd never keep my guests waiting. But I've been waiting centuries for you to die. 
You look like you've got some deep pockets. Deep pockets and a long reach, girl. A bit rough around the edges, aren't we? I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. This better be worth my time, lady. Just name your price. Who is this imposter? I am LeBlanc. You are a cheap illusion. <sighs> Another clone gone rogue. You think I'm a clone? How precious. Oh, her clones go rogue. Oh, we simply must stop meeting like this. It's always nice to see a familiar face. Of two golden crowns, one bears tarnish. And now we wait. Oh, beautiful. What secrets do you bring me? Whispers of a rose blooming in the desert. Oh. Darling, you are dressed to kill. <laughs> Is it really so obvious? I'll try anyone once. Greedy girl. I think I like you. What do you want? Oh, I don't ask for much. Just everything. Try to understand. I matter, you don't. Ah, the arrogance of youth. I have the name. I need the reputation. This apple has fallen very far from the tree. Now what could you be plotting, hmm? <laughs> I'm not getting any younger. It was inevitable. One step closer. Another rose for the garden. Exactly as I planned it. <laughs> they think they've won. Damn, you know, the more I look at her, the more I actually see the arcane council lady, the older one. Hey, LeBlanc, tell my mom I'm going to rip her head off. Who's your mom? Good. That'll send mom the message. You seem kind of pale, LeBlanc. Sure you're getting enough, son. <laughs> not the first LeBlanc I've killed. Probably not the last either. She had one crazy get-up. Them city folk clothes is getting ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I'll try it on later. Go back to Noxus Prime! All your little city girl dreams just got stomped. They call her a city An person? An assassin is due at any moment. It is how I know LeBlanc cares. I suppose this makes us enemies with benefits. God, I we like both him. both move pawns in a grand game. And look at that. It seems I'm winning. You see every flaw in me and you do not even blink. A bit unwise, wouldn't you say? Damn. Life would be boring without surprises. You certainly keep things interesting. Every one of you as dead as the last. Oh, God. Oh, I've heard of the Black Rose. Nasty reputation. I mean, a uh, huge fan. Stop. Ah, the Black Rose. I remember your petty manipulations. Oh. LeBlanc. Wish my twin would disappear as fast as yours. Okay, no, what a fantastic character. I am now, like, convinced that we're going to see her in Arcane Season 2 and that we have already seen her in Arcane Season 1. Now, who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be, I don't know, Silco related, Mao related, Mao's assistant related, the council lady? Any guesses is good. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little deep dive into LeBlanc just as we are heading towards Arcade Season 2 and obviously I'll be recording reaction to Arcade Season 2 that's coming soon in just two weeks. Thank you so much for watching Full Comic Back. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It does help a lot. And see you around guys. Stay safe. Bye.